This is a website that I've collaborated on with Dan and this is this is Dan here, Dan Dutton, and this is eWritable.com is the name of the website. This is eWritable.com and this is a app within that website which will let you make spider charts of comparing different types of e-ink tablets. I know that this is something that a lot of you are here to do is to help you make a choice. So the nice thing is you can choose between, well, let's compare the paper, let's compare the uh, the super note, and let's compare Let's compare the same size of, of books. Let's compare the, the books Note Air 2 Plus. Why not? What are you interested in? Are you interested in reading? Corey, you tell me which, which use cases would you like me to click on? Writing for sure. Yes, let's talk about writing, reading, um, and presenting with professional behaviors as um, thinking, collaboration, and let's say reading and learning. Absolutely. Super duper. And then you click go. And it builds you a spider graph here based on my experience and my sort of um, data that I share here. And hopefully now you can see what you want to see in the comparison of those three devices that you're interested in, which I'm going to zoom out a little bit. The Super Note, for instance, um, big on the writing. It's zoomed out a lot. <laughs> it's continuously zooming. <laughs> the Super Note, big on the writing, but not so big on the collaboration or the presenting side of things. Although that probably needs to change now that they've added their screen share as well. But this will hopefully help you make those quick comparisons. And you'll be seeing these spider um, diagrams come up in my videos on my live streams as well, because this is a really nice way to compare. Not only this, but also Dan's website, eWritable here also has a full buying guide and you can also see individual reviews of each of these devices and details about them but this other compare tool which lets you compare the specifications directly in a side-by-side -side manner i'm a big fan of dp review for cameras i don't know if anyone else else of that and i always go to dp reviews comparison site because you can actually just pick specific tablets or specific cameras for DP review, specific tablets that you want to compare on their specifications. So once again, let's go for the same three, the Rata, the Note Air 2, and the Quirk Logic Paper. You press go, and there they are side by side. Only 20% he gave the uh, Quirk Logic Paper. <laughs> but importantly, specifications wise, you can see exactly the specifications of the battery, exactly the size. You can see it's a very light tablet for its size. Uh, Android 5, as you can see. Yep. So this, is, I think, is a very useful tool that I wanted to bring to your attention in the audience. This is a very, very useful tool for making your decisions. Anything to add? I think you've uh, got a couple things to say about this, my buddy. Yeah, sure, uh, Kit. So I simply want to add a couple of things here. First, I'm looking forward to seeing more uh, full A4 size devices yeah. uh, popping up on on eWritable uh, as time continues um, from more brands. So right now, books really hasn't Onyx Books really is is a monopoly for the A4 device market. I mean, there's the Quaderno A4 Gen 2, but the software is known to be wonky and 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 also, of course, it's it's really designed to be used in a Japanese market rather than a uh, market of people using the Latin alphabet, um, English, and other European languages. So, um, not a really great option. Book, the Onyx Books line is kind of in a monopoly, but there are some problems there, and it would be really nice to see some competitors that have really different philosophies bring things to the market, including Rada with the forthcoming SuperNote A4X2. Also, I wonder what the market might be for an even larger e-ink tablet. So I know this is going to sound some, somewhat crazy, but a 15 to 16 inch device could be really interesting for academic use for parallel PDF reading and note taking, for example. I mean, there is one, there is one which is a 2A4 size for music. Oh, right, right, right. It's very much mimics that having that music sheets side by side. It even comes with a, a, a pedal foot pedal for, for changing um so you don't have to take your hands off the keys for changing the, the screen as well but i think it's incredibly expensive and pretty much just for that one use